if Mr. Kohli and TCS hadn't dreamt big in 1968 or 1970s, there will be no software industry in India. Indians will be considered more as snake charmers and not Python programmers that they are being considered now. <laughs> we need to dream in a similar scale. To achieve this, we need to scale up our research both in quality and quantity. Academic institutions like ours and IT in the IT area have research focused on VLSI, computer architecture, compilers, AI, robotics, machine learning, and so on. These are the disciplinary areas in which we work. But the world out there recognizes areas or problem segments like healthcare, education, heritage preservation, security and privacy, sustainability. These are the big problems of the world. Fortunately, all those problems require an infusion of great science and great technology and great innovation. So our endeavor is to get into those application segments with the help of the larger society, build it over, build those horizontal segments over the pillars of excellence that we have built in our disciplinary area. This would be one of our challenges going forward. And we would also like to take the technology that come out of this segmental initiative to the society through startups, technology transfer and so on. The presence of T-Hub here will give a great fillip to that, I'm sure. The Kohli Center for Intelligent Systems is designed as an umbrella that coordinates and energizes activity in the larger AI area, such as natural language processing, robotics, computer vision, speech, cognitive sciences, which already are going on here. The center will also lay a special emphasis on, like Professor Rajaraji said, taking the fruits of the research to the society. Another strategy towards being a global institution is internationalization. No institution can be a globally visible institution without having a global population working for it. So we want to have international faculty members, international postdocs, PhD students, visitors, all roaming in this campus so that the academic environment benefits from it all. That's another initiative that we want to go forward with. And we also want to build infrastructure that can help all these. Infrastructure structure that is both functional and promoting creative thinking. So how do we dream big as an institution? We have a, our institutional model is that of a research university outside of the government sector. This is new for India, but this is not new for the world. This is a very similar model followed by institutions like Caltech, CMU, MIT, Princeton, and you name those. Those are truly awe-inspiring institutions. I can name 50 of them, and the youngest of those will be at least 100 years old. And the top dozen of them, including Caltech, has an endowment of $1 million per student enrolled. Every student on campus has a million dollars in the bank for the institution. So these are things difficult to match here. But as an institution, we also have been endowed very richly. We have been endowed very richly with two factors, autonomy and confidence. These are the endowments on which we want to build this globally visible institution. And if USA cannot have, can have 50 of them, at least India should have a few. We have this model. We have the administrative and academic model that facilitates this and the drive among the faculty and students and staff here to make it happen. What we need is all-round help, help from industry, from the government and society at large. In that context, it can't be more timely, TCS gesture of establishing the Kohli Center on our campus cannot be more timely. We are really thankful to TCS for this. This center has a Kohli research block, which is an infrastructure part, as well as the intelligent system research, which is for the research. Help from Tata's to education institutions have augured very well in the past. Two of the finest institutions of the country in science and technology, namely the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore and TIFR in Mumbai, have started as Tata institution. We hope this support and uh, sponsorship that TC is giving to IIIT will help us develop into a globally visible institution. 
success in one institution like ours will promote other institutions in the country to rise to the similar level of excellence. We already have institutions like IIIT at Delhi, the 20 new IIIT that are starting, which are inspired or modeled after our, uh, this institution in different ways. So, standing here, we could be on a historic threshold, a historic threshold of creating not only a world visible institution here, but also creating an institutional model for the country that the country can be proud of. To this, I welcome you all. I welcome you all to IIIT, as well as I welcome you all to be a partner in our journey towards the glorious future. This is true for TCS, who already started the partnership, but also to other institutions, other industry and other uh, entities who may be present here. We would like you all to be partners in our journey into this future, a future of being an internationally visible institution. Thank you very much.